Now let's take a question where we have to find 10 numbers between two rational numbers. See the example here 3 by 4 and 6 by 7 and we have to find 10 numbers between them. So what are we going to do? We are going to take the LCM of 4 and 7. So look at the LCM method. We are starting with the prime number 2. 2 goes 2 times. 7 remains as it is. Again 2 1 and this is 7 going once. So the process is repeated till we get 1 here. Now look at the numbers or the factors here. We get 2 into 2 is 4. 4 into 7 we get 28. So the LCM is 28. 4 goes 7 times in 28. So 7 into the numerator here is 3. So we are going to get 21 upon 28. And here we find that the LCM was 28. And here 7 goes 4 times. So 4 multiplied by 6 we are going to get 24 upon 28. So here we are having 21 by 28 and here we are having 24 by 28. We find that there are only two numbers between them and the numbers are 22 by 28 and 23 by 28. So that is not sufficient because the question is find out 10 numbers between them and we are able to find at the moment only two numbers. So we have to do some multiplication and division process. So let's multiply and divide the numbers let's say by 3. So when I am going to multiply and divide by 3, 21 into 3 we are going to get 63 and here this is going to be 8 is a 24 and 2 carry we get 84. So 63 by 84 and 24 by 28 again multiply and divide by 3. Here 24 into 3 we are going to get 72 and here we are going to get again 84. So between 63 and 72 still we find that 10 numbers are not there. So this number that we have chosen is small. So we have to take a higher value. So let's say we take a high value. Let's say 21 by 28. Let's multiply and divide by 10. And 24 by 28. Let's multiply and divide by 10. So here we get 210 by 280. Here we get 240 by 280 and now we find that comfortably we can find 19 numbers between them. Here 211 up to 239 that's 29 numbers we can find between them. So obviously any 10 numbers between 210 by 280 and 240 by 280 can be selected and written down as the answer. Multiplicative inverse and additive inverse. Now the meaning of multiplicative inverse is to take the reciprocal of a given number. Now if you are given a number 1 by 2, the multiplicative inverse of 1 by 2 will become 2 by 1. It simply means that the numerator of the question becomes the denominator in the answer and the denominator becomes the numerator. So multiplicative inverse is the same as taking the reciprocal of a number. So any number is given, let's say 3 by 4. So the reciprocal of that will become 4 by 3. That is the multiplicative inverse. What is additive inverse? Additive inverse means if you are taking a number, let's say 5 upon 6, then the additive inverse, we are not going to do anything with the order. That means no change in numerator and denominator. It will be as it is. But what happens is that the signs will change. The signs will change means at the moment it is 5 by 6. It is going to become negative 5 by 6. So this changing of the sign is called additive inverse. If you have a negative number, let's say minus 2 by 3, then the additive inverse of minus 2 by 3 is going to be positive 2 by 3. So this is additive inverse. The positive becomes negative and negative becomes positive. But see that the numerator and denominator position does not change. So this is additive inverse. Whereas in multiplicative inverse we find that the signs do not change. But what changes is the numerator becomes denominator and denominator becomes numerator.